Hello dear friends, good evening and uh, this is the weekend. It was uh, the first week after back to school Friday yesterday. I was very very happy because I finished the first week of the uh, the uh, first week of school and uh, it was very tiring because after a long time not uh, working and go back to work. It's quite a, a challenging thing. So Friday I thought I should go out and I always like to see city night. City or anything, night. Night is a mysterious thing. So I went out. I want to share with you some of the night scene where I live mostly to bring some uh, some, um, let's just have a night walk and it's so warm, so calm and so so interesting to see something different, right? Okay, let's do it. So I parked my car in Cupertino uh, Main Street and this place used to be nothing, nothing at all. Not nothing at all, a um, uh, field, but uh, this used to be quite poor house and, uh, and some very simple construction. And uh, I think a couple of years ago, maybe only one year ago or two, year, two years ago, they started to build some new main street. It's kind of a new downtown and new living office and uh, and a new uh, area, new district or new living compound. I think it's kind of the trend right now. Not only Cupertino have this, other cities start to build these kind of uh, places and right in front of me is uh, is a hotel and uh, it's quite beautiful outside it was raining last night so um, so it uh, it brings something more romantic and poetic and uh, and the mysterious feeling to this area. So I walked uh, out through the parking lot and uh, on the left side, here you see the, the door is, I think it's a parking lot, uh, a private entrance or a, a secret door. And there are some uh, wall paintings and it's a quite uh, a designed wall painting, not like uh, the um, the real urban city, urban uh, graffiti kind of wall painting. And uh, I walked through it and start to see the light. It's quite interesting. And uh, I like to see the night scene. I always like to see night and I feel night has something very, very, let me turn off the light, <laughs> very, very mysterious and, uh, and uh, <clears throat> it recalls me a lot of uh, good feelings and I may turn off the background sound because they are playing a music. The restaurant here is playing some music. It must uh, not be allowed for me to, there is some copyright and, uh, and the regulation, so I will not put on the sound, I will turn it off. Let me have a cup of tea, a sip of tea. Isn't it romantic? And I remember a couple of uh, weeks or months ago, I drove through here and um, 
and saw a lot of lightings and it's very beautiful so I was thinking I must come out and take a look here so it's very beautiful I have uh, this lighting and um, <coughs> it's uh, illuminated and have a very very mysterious feeling or, or more than mysterious is actually it has this uh, this just uh, warm up a light a night and this is a restaurant I think but everything is closed it's quite late it's Christmas all the season every day any day what is Banino Giotto? I don't know. Mm, something, something, something. <laughs> yeah, the restaurant is closed, and uh, I think there are two two ladies still uh, do the final accounting or checking and uh, finishing up the business here nobody was here but looks like a, a, a pretty restaurant anyway once it's new and it's still in the hype it's usually pretty and nice I imagine in daytime there must be a lot of people because there are office compound there and what we see the the building they are apartment building I think apartment building a hotel and uh, then office all in the same compound and um, because the there are apartment building behind so this what we see is um, is a hotel hotel so there are a lot of residents and there are there are uh, 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 office people the workers the um, the people who work there the employees so it has some uh, consuming power to to occupy, to use the, to consume in the, in the surrounding restaurants, and there are some quite fancy restaurants. It's uh, unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate that uh, there are a lot of chain restaurants, or a restaurant that already established a business or business model and then start to branch out and start to build it is uh, the American business model but I always feel that uh, if everything is different is new will be <coughs> will be so interesting but uh, well it's a fast economy here so that is that is it that is what we get now and uh, beautiful flowers so when we first came back from australia we used to live in mountain view and uh, then we went to australia for four years and when we first came back from Australia, we, we had a corporate uh, housing and we rented uh, an, um, a hotel kind of uh, uh, with kitchen, with, uh, with uh, apartment hotel, this kind of hotel in Cupertino. And uh, I had quite a... Uh, uh, a good feeling or a home feeling of this place but uh, at that time this main street was not yet built 
and our hotel is actually very close to here. It's a walking distance to this place. It's all new, totally new. And uh, that's very much about uh, the city of Cupertino. It's very much like this. They used to do not have, a, they did not have a downtown. I don't think they had a downtown. And uh, everything is newly built. There were not a lot of uh, old shops, historical shops, mom and pop's shops. And um, I, I did not recall any of them. They are very much uh, borrowed and, uh, and the beauty. Anyway, each city has uh, its own character. And, uh, and there is uh, Apple building its uh, uh, headquarter like a, like a spaceship uh, and super fancy and super m modern. I didn't go there. My family went there with uh, with friends. It's quite uh, interesting. They they told me it's very impressive, but uh, I have never been there. Maybe one day I will go there. Gosh, <coughs> it must be <laughs> like a donkey <laughs> drinking. And uh, there are some new restaurants, a lot of restaurants. Yeah. Restaurants really brings, uh, brings business, brings uh, people out. And uh, there is also a convenient Target store a small size convenient Target store. I remember we went there one day to the Target shop and the Target has just, just brandly new opened. Maybe that week or maybe that month, but so new. And I was looking for Zacto because we had uh, arts night. You know, uh, every year our school has uh, um, has, uh, has um, an art exhibition of students' work, and uh, we were. I was preparing the 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 art project, and there was one project I need uh, twenty zactos, and I went to every target within the vicinity of uh, twenty miles. I went to. I think I went to. Um, San Jose Target, uh, Redwood City Target, uh, Cupertino Target, Mountain View Target, of course. I just couldn't find, and, and all the, 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 the home office depots, and I went to any place, all the place I could find to look for some Zacto and still I could not find. And just uh, Bahazar, coincidentally, accidentally, I, I ran into this target in this compound. And I found all the dactyls I need. The cutting knife. <laughs> and uh, just uh, so... I was very happy to find it and uh, to see some shop opens. And this is a, a, a gym. So it's a new thing. There are so many gyms opening up. And, um, and still, people are so. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes. It's good to have gym, that people go to gym, but uh, I think uh, 
in California, in America, so fresh air. Why not go to go outside, walk, and why do you need to go to gym anyway? I am not a gym person anyway, but I do use a swimming pool <laughs> every day. Still, I go to swimming pool every day, and、uh, my family laughed at me. You go there only because you want to take a shower. Yes, I went there for, I go there for taking shower. But actually, I started by only want to take a shower. Look at the light, look at the fire, and look at the reflection of the fire. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. So, <clears throat> come back to the to my gym experience. So I started by.、Uh, I, I did not. I do not like go to cold water to swim. And every time I go into cold water, I feel so cold. <laughs> But our house was in renovation, and there is no choice. I have to go to take shower in YMCA in our local gym, which is.、Uh, Very close to us, it's walking distance, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, something. So I started to go there because I want to take a shower. And、uh, going to gym to take shower and not、uh, doing anything—it's a shame. It's morally wrong, right? So I <coughs> started to swim, to swim five laps. Twenty-five meter, fifty meter aller-retour, and then five laps would be two hundred fifty meters. So I went there, and、uh, every time swim five laps, and then take a shower, and then go back home. And now, because at the beginning the goal was to take a shower, and now it becomes part of my life. Every day I go to swim and shower. <laughs> so sometimes we start to do something not for a good reason, or for a good reason, whichever way you think it. Sometimes we start to do something by a quite unspeakable reason or a quite、uh, not glorious reason, but we end up doing something good. And do, doing something beneficial, and doing something that makes me makes us proud. Then keep on doing this thing that make you proud. And、um, no matter where we get start, as long as the goal is right, is good, is to make us proud. Then. Go for it. Then do it. We do not always think things through and、uh, think things and do things for the for the best reason. But as long as the result is good, then keep up with it. I am proud of my achievement. Of going to swim every day. I think Saturday I didn't go there, so I am trying to make it up. Every every day now I go to swim. I swim two laps more until I reach to the missing laps. Until I make up to the missing laps. Anyway, it's just so good to see the night outside and to chat with you. And、uh, I know you could not walk out. You could not go out. Maybe you do not have a car. You are not allowed to drive, 
or for whatever reason. Outside, the world is fantastic. It is fantastic to see people go out to have dinner and politely opening the door for the lady. And uh, I'm always uh, fascinated to see people, to see people chatting. I always think about their relationship. And uh, two young ladies chat. They were friends, co-workers or something. And uh, they chit-chat about uh, their life. Maybe they were schoolmates, just met. And there are so many stories you make out of uh, what you see, right? Mm. And the handsome, uh, 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 um, well-dressed, handsome is uh, not the right word. Yeah, it could be the right word. The well-dressed, um, a shop manager, and this is Alexander Batisserie. It's a very good, very beautiful uh, bakery shop, Batisserie. Batisserie, so there are cakes, bread, and uh, baked goods, and so on and so forth. So I was on my way going back to my car and uh, it's really so nice to see the night scene, don't you agree? Flower. And it amazed me that uh, the camera cap captures the light so vividly. It's. Uh, it's my cell phone, actually. It captures everything so nicely. Gosh, technology is making, is changing our life, right? For good or for not good, it is changing our life. Maybe we just need to need to need to live a real life to walk on our feet. Sometimes it is just too easy. You almost do not need to walk. You can drive, you can call a Uber, and you do not even need your foot, your legs. And uh, Restaurants is a good place to see people really work. Maybe one day it will be all replaced by machines. But anyway, it's just good to see something interesting. It's good to see the reflection of the night, of the light. Isn't it fun, the reflection? I love you. I really do. Do 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 do